Hello, this is Jack Slam one and welcome to the final version of, or well, final part in my series, part 8, I believe, of my PC build series. And in this part, I shall be installing the software for my computer and installing an operating system which is needed to do, like, to run the computer. So, on this computer, I've already entered the BIOS and I've actually adjusted the date, time uh, and the boot priority. Now, the reason I had to adjust the boot priority is because we want it to boot from the CD-ROM drive so that we can install Windows. Now, to get into the BIOS on this computer, it was a delete button but all the difference, so look in your motherboard's manual so now I'm going to power up the computer again and try to install Windows. So, bear with me a second. So I've just very, very fast plugged in, switched on the computer and put in the CD-ROM of Windows 7 64-bit, which I'll be using on this computer. So I've got an old keyboard plugged in and an old mouse. And there it says Windows is loading files. Sorry, I haven't got a very good angle on this. But obviously a different operating system may vary. But this is Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit. Which I've just purchased for £99 down in my local town. So I won't run you through the whole setup process because it can take anywhere from sort of half three quarters of an hour to maybe four or five hours depending on your computer so I will get to the first little bits where you have to select some items and then I'll leave it to run and come back to you when it's done so it's still loading at the, at the minute so we're just going to wait for it to finish So now it's just starting Windows and it should load up the setup. So now it's just starting Windows, so it's going to load up the setup set for us. And hopefully this mouse is going to work. If not, I might just have to pause the video while I get a working one. So we're starting Windows. Here we go. We go to the Windows program. So the first thing we select is your country and your time and currency format so I am English United Kingdom and keyboard or input method United <coughs> Kingdom then click on next and then install now <coughs> now this setup will start and it will run for however long it needs and it will need, sorry about that, it will need your input later on but at the beginning it only needs you to do one thing or two things and that is to accept the license terms and decide which disk you want to install it on. Now, I, I don't know if you just saw me do that then. Sorry, I didn't. I went a little bit quick. If you want to. Hello again, I'm back. And sorry about the abrupt ending to that video, but the camera died for the, what is it, fourth time for this, this series, so I might have to get a new one. So, it's finished installing almost, and now it's asking me for a username, so I'm going to put in my name. Cheers. Six nine one one. Obviously I'll change it later, but to be quite honest, it looks like you need to know my real name. So, check someone one and then we'll change that name also later but I know how to do that so I might just put um, oh I don't know um, um, oh I can't put a dash P C so we'll do it as Jackson on PC and then next, type of password, I'm not going to do that now, I'll do that later. 
and now I need to put in the product key which on this particular disc is on the back so I'll now type that in, I might just get the keyboard off from where it is which I can't because the lead isn't long enough so I might just enter this now I'll come back when I finish right so I've now entered my product key and it's just loading again I'll just press next and I've also ticked automatically activate windows when I'm online so when I plug in my internet it will activate it for me so here we are next screen help protect your computer and improve windows automatically I use recommended settings I always use and then your t the time and your time zone, so that's my time zone just want to change the date oops as in 11 January 2020 and it is January the 8th today and the time is currently let me just look 15.31 exactly correct so next and now it's finishing finalising the settings and finishing the installation it will probably restart no nope, it's just going straight into So it's now setting up your final personal settings for you. This could take a little while depending on what, how much it actually decides to do. And then, there we have it. You've built your own computer, installed an operating system. All that's left is to install some antivirus so that, we don't, so that you don't get any viruses. And of course any other software which you decide to install. Just something else I'd like to add is that you actually have to install the motherboard driver for any of the ports to work so that's why I couldn't connect to the internet and once you've done that you there you have it you've built yourself a computer it'll all be ready to be used put all your files on there any software you'd like and remember to install antivirus on there because you don't want to get any spyware or antivirus and this has been Jackson911 and I hope you enjoyed the series